Guys, I'm not going to lie to you. Today has been uh, interesting. So first video I tried to record, I it was awful. It was boring. It was long. I didn't win anything. It just didn't work. Second video I tried to record, uh, my computer just decided my microphone, as seen here, uh, my, my little Razer Mini here, uh, wasn't a microphone. And instead of using the microphone in front of my face that has a windsock and all that, it used the uh, microphone up here. So so this is um, a Sony camera, and obviously it has a microphone on it, video camera, and it was using that. Problem is, because these recordings are so long, I have a fan on it. So all you could hear was, and it was awful. <laughs> so I give up. Let's go back to Sneak and Show. This is a list you've seen me play before. Four show and tells to cheat things into play, four sneak attacks, four force of wills, four brainstorm, and then other things. You know, we have a Daedru and Hazared because it's funny, and I get to play Emrakul. We have Palantir because people fall for that. We have Spirit Guides and Lotus Petals because we're just trying to be all in on this version. We're also playing a little bit of White so that we can have Leyline of Sanctity and Prismatic Ending in the side. Surgical for Graveyards, Magus of the Moon for Greedy Decks, Fury for a whole bunch of creatures, No Rods for Artifacts, and Defense Grids for Control Mirrors. And gah, I am so at wit's end at this point because this is literally take three. I don't know if we're playing five rounds. I'm definitely only playing one-on-one -on -one games until I'm just done because I've been trying to make this work for hours. And it's just not. So for the last time today. Let's take this to some one-on-ones and see how it does. Join me, won't you? All right, take three. You want a die roll? Uh, okay, turn to show and tell with forceful backup. Seems good. We'll see if we even want to brainstorm because we don't want to brick the brainstorm and lose our force of will. So we'll just play a land and pass and see how it goes. All right, our opponent is playing blue. Just draw. No reason to do anything. Another Emrakul. Wish I didn't have that. Island. Bulk. Petal. Show and tell into some sort of, um, if it's days into force of will, I feel bad, but at least we have the brainstorm to try and pull back from that. Tropical Island. So, oh, they, they, they don't even have it they have a brainstorm they gotta find the top three all right does it go off it does so here comes a troxa you just play a land that's gotta hurt all right so force of will ponder simeon uh probably misty that yeah. i have seven cards in hand so i don't even have to discard and i pass the turn that is a turn one a troxa and now i have two counter spells back up in case they're trying to do something comboy they did play a green land all right here comes their cracking into an underground sea this could be a lot of things could be some sort of um leovold deck it could be a Delver deck. It could be I, it could be Doomsday. Does Doomsday play any green? Dark Ritual, sure. Dark Ritual, sure. Lion's Eye Diamond, sure. <laughs> um, I guess they didn't have it. Now I know what they're doing. They're storming. So we'll take the Null Rods. We'll take Sanctities. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The Null Rods are good, though. Let's take out a Petal and a Pollen here for our Null Rods, because that'll make them have to do it slightly differently. Um, Ley Lines seem okay. Can I think of enough to take out? A Pollen here because it's slow. Daedru and Hazaret because it's not real we really want to be and maybe one brainstorm try it like this seems good let's see all right Ooh, we have a ley line in our opening hand and an active force of will but nothing else um here are the orphanage i think they might have changed what they're doing now. um we'll keep put the ley line down we still have a force of will in case they do something truly heinous delta and pass no rod that's good how about now opponent i think we do fight this because we have the emerald in hand. oh they're just gonna surveil put a thing into the bin and now artifacts don't work anymore okay i have a pretty good turn one <laughs> chrome mox sure chose not to imprint it because it doesn't do anything Thing. brainstorm sure the rest and our opponent got locked out of the match let's go on to game two all right so we won the die roll again so yes we'd like to play first and turn one day drew and hazard not the strongest creature but turn one show and tell is turn one show and tell time to uh counter spell check our opponent please don't have it please don't have it please don't have it hey here comes day drew and hazard oh we're against like a burn deck i don't think they can kill day drew and hazard um turn one so it should get an attack in roiling vortex will deal us five though if we cast a um, legendary off the top. And this is our omniscience. We don't have omniscience, so it's not like Roiling Vortex is going to completely lure us, but let's see what their follow-up is. Probably just a bolt. Goblin Guide, sure. You can block if you want. So the only way we brainstorm, I guess we can brainstorm because it allows us to um, see if the top three have anything cool in it, or if we draw what we want to play. Okay, so we drew what we wanted to play. So brainstorm, put back a Troxa, put back sneak, no, put back brainstorm. We want the sneak attack in hand in case our guy dies. Incom 
combat, swing with Daedra and Hazoret. Exile Atroxa, no block. We do deal ourselves five, but we get an Atroxa. So we get dealt five, happens, but we have an Atroxa. So now they have to spend some mana to stop us from gaining life. So we want Atroxa, Force of Will, Ponder, Ink Attack. We even want Atroxa, just want the Simeon. Simeon, and then Idiot Traders. Are we drawn to something we want to sneak attack? Because our two our two fatties are on the field right now. Uh, we have seven in hand. You just kind of chill. Now they have to spend a mana each turn to stop us from gaining seven, because if we gain seven, the game's just over. We deal 12 next turn, which isn't quite enough just to kill them outright. They can't attack, though. Let's just crack this. Get a Volk. Wrong button. Play Brainstorm. Look for Embercool. No Embercools. So put back Volcanic. Put back Scalding Tarn. I get dealt one. Play... Huh. I play City of Traders. I get Sneak Attack down. Can't actually do anything after that anyway. So I guess we just wander a bit. Uh, any order? Shuffle. Palantir. That's interesting. I might even make that mistake. I play this. Play Palantir. They can't just deal us 12 right now, is the thing. Attack with both of these. They have to spend a mana to stop us from gaining life. Didn't find Emrakul in the top six. Question is, do they just take it? Okay, they try and save themselves some damage. They have to activate Roiling Vortex or the game. Okay, so they activate Roiling Vortex, which is correct. They go to six, so maybe we can get them with Palantir. <laughs> uh, top and top. Come on, make the mistake. What are the chances it's Emrakul on top opponent? What are the chances? Ah, they let me draw. They've seen this one before. Um, problem is if they just go bolt, 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 we just die. <laughs> so, uh, actually, bolt, bolt, six, and then fire blast, ten? And then we go to one on the upkeep? And then we just swing. So I think we got it. Chain lightning, owie, go to nine. Skewer the critics, go to six. Fire blast, go to two. That's all I can see this going to. Also, we get to face burn when I have ley lines in my deck. This seems great. The well, ley lines on my sideboard, not in the deck right now. And we win. All right, so, ley lines, please. Um, prismatics, maybe? Maybe? Do we just kind of... Like, what do we take out? Take out Palantir. It is slow. Take out Ponder, a Brainstorm. That's the three lane lines. And then the rest is just go fast, break things. I really do feel like Palantir's a no-win kind of card. You put in one Prismatic and remove something. Seems a little reactionary, and it seems like, uh, well, if they have the... They have Ensnaring Bridge, we want that to not be a... Let's do that, and let's take out one more card. Let's take out... What? One more Brainstorm. Try it like this. Fingers crossed. All right, our opening hand has literally nothing in it. A Show and Tell and Six Lands. Mull. Oh, this has some spell pierces, but it dies pretty quick. Try one more. Okay, so keep rid of that, get rid of one of those, and we have to hope really hard we don't draw ley lines. Goblin Guide. That was one of the reasons I didn't want the incredibly slow hand um, that had, like, spell pierces, because if they just do, like, creatures, we got nothing. Lotus Petal. Okay. That means a turn to sneak attack with no secondary red source. For right now, Brainstorm into a show and tell. Okay, cool. So put what? Back. Put the Emrakul back. Put the Atroxa back. Lay these out. You don't want them um, to get got by Eidolon or the Enchantment Eidolon from like Torment or whatever it's from. Next turn, we do kind of get to go off. Oh yeah, they get to see what's on top of our deck. Totally could have put the City of Traders on top and redrew it. We dealt three. Do we get dealt three more? Because next turn, we just get to attack with all of our big things. Okay, so we're not going to show and tell because I don't want them to put Ensnaring Bridge into play. We're going to Sneak Attack. We're going to activate Sneak Attack and we're going to Atroxa. We're going to hope we find what we need. We know there's an Emrakul, so... Oh, Emrakul Lotus Petal. Neat. No until Force of Will. Blooded Strand? Done, and we even get it anyway. Can't believe all the Lotus Petals were on top of the deck, but I'll take it. It's been a long recording session, and I would like to just burn through these games, and that's the match. Let's go on to the next one. I think this is a rematch. Um, Sometimes this happens when you do the one-on-one -on -one queue. The same guy gets back in it, so I believe this is a rematch. I did win the die roll. Turn to Palantir? I think this was the guy doing, like, the Storm stuff, and I can understand why he wants a rematch, because he didn't really get to play Magic. Uh, or a turn to Atroxa. So we'll hide the show and tell on top of our deck. If we get hand disrupted and they take the Emrakul, there's not much we can do. Oh no, this is the Burn Guy. Burn Guy got right back in the queue. Uh, sure. You can idle on. Burn Guy wanted, uh, wanted a round two. Decided that that's what he, what he was about. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and remind him that Burn is, it's a wonderful way to get into the meta. However, uh, I'm even just going to put Emrakul. All right, opponent, what do you got? You you came
came for the rematch. I was sitting in the queue and you joined me. What do you got? Lightning bolt targeting me. I mean, again, I will stand up and clap if he manages to deal me 15 damage on turn three. Because what is it? Nine with bolts and then one, two, three, four. He could do 13, I think. If it's bolt, 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 fire blast. No. Nope. All right. You guys saw it last time. Just a line prismatic and take out the volunteers. Take out brainstorm. Take out ponder. Uh, I even forget what I took out. Don't even remember. Um, does anyone remember what I took out last time? Anyone at all have any idea what I took out? Uh, I'm going to take out a spell pierce. I can't even remember what I took out last time and we'll just run this. Let's see. Okay. And here we are again. His hand is unkeepable. Just doesn't do anything. Uh, this hand seems a little better. We can try this. Need to put a card on the bottom. Emrakul. I mean, we just have to avoid, um, the ensnaring bridge and we're pretty good in this match. One had no turn one play. Interesting. Uh, here's the thing. And here is my ponder. I'm pondering my orbs. Show and tell Emrakul more Atroxa. Sure. So Atroxa, Emrakul, show and tell, no shuffle library. And now we still have Force of Will up. Roiling Vortex. Do I care? I mean, I can just shut this down because I can. Oh, he has a Pyroblast. So he really wants this Force of Will to not happen. wonder why the Roiling Vortex is the thing they're so worried about, but they spent their counterspell to do it. Here comes Emrakul. Here comes our land. We'll go ahead and crack the land. We just have to find a land off the top now. But they, they do have, um, they do have kind of open range at the moment. That's also really weird because they could have killed Atroxa with the Pyroblast. Unless they have multiple. If they have multiple Pyroblasts, then that's a thing. And that might explain why they kept that hand. Another one of those. Well, we're not going to Daedru and Hazard at anything. Uh, let's get rid of the dead card. Go get a Volk. Realize this means we get taken a lot of damage for Price of Progress. Is what it is. Get taken two. Hopefully we don't draw a Lotus Petal. Ley Line of Sanctity. That's not good. Okay, so we might actually lose this now. Um, Ley Lines have this nasty habit of showing up when they're not supposed to. Because we really need that to be a land. And we can show and tell, and then we can uh, put in Atroxa, or even just Emrakul and end the game. One has to think a lot about what they're doing here. Another Atroxa! We just pass. I feel like we're, we are uh, losing this one. We have everything but the third mana. Chain Lightning us, we get Howied. Another Atroxa! Gang's all here. Um, If we don't lose now, I don't know what it would take. We've done nothing all game. We forced one thing that didn't even get forced, and that's about it. But they should be able to take us out pretty easy now. They, they should have some amount of burn and fire blasts in hand. Really? Maybe they're going to do it at instant speed? Another show and tell. Well, that's variance for you. I mean, at least we're going to uh, game three on the rematch. Look at that. Come on, you, you have to have a way to kill us. You have five lands. If we draw a land now, what are our chances of winning? We drew the land. I mean, I feel like we're just dead to bolt. We're dead to any amount of damage. Just bolt us, opponent. Come on. Yeah, I know you have it. Let's see what you got. Price of progress. Yeah, that happens. So we sat there and we just got absolutely dumpstered. Um, We just didn't draw well. There's no way to put that. I think our hand, I think the deck's fine. I just think we didn't draw well. So rematch is uh, going to game three. Let's try it. Uh, it does nothing, Maul. Turn two, sure. Put back. <sighs> guess just Daedru and Hazoret? Or do we, we begin Carcassonne in hand? Because if we play Emrakul, they have no way of stopping. I guess we, we try and put Emrakul into play and just win that way. So play this, play a Brainstorm, put back, what? Just the Simeon and the Brainstorm. And next turn, show and tell out Emrakul and hope that's enough. If they have Ensnaring Bridge, they have Ensnaring Bridge, and then we have to find one of our uh, Prismatic Endings when we have all three colors in play to win, and hopefully we don't die between then and now. Um, it's amazing that we haven't seen a single Ley Line of Sanctity. <laughs> Alright, what do you got turn one opponent? Goblin Guide's probably your best. Monastery Swift Spear, not the best play, but a play. All right, opponent, if you get us, you get us. Otherwise, we're really digging. So let's get the Tundra. Exile, blue, white, no and tell. Please don't have it. If you have Ensnaring Bridge, then bravo. You got me. We're, you'll probably win. A Pyroblast. Okay, I can dig it. They had to do it with a Simeon, too. And now we're just in digging mode. Another Monastery Swift Spear. No lands, though. All right, so first things first, we ponder. Not with white man. Have to ponder with blue man. Uh, any order, shuffle. I think that doesn't really help. Brain storm into... Okay. Okay, okay. Put back Force of Will. Put back Emrakul. Play Flooded Strand and pass. Next turn, we get to remove all their stuff. No land would be the best. Hmm. They found the land. That's not good. Eidolon. Okay, that doesn't actually do anything. Going for two. Doesn't quite do what they want it to. And we want to draw the second Emrakul. Go get a Volk. Play the Tomb. Red, white, two. Play Sneak Attack. And then activate attack. That should be the game, but let's play. Because it eats all their permanents. And we have another Emrakul in hand. And they'll be at five. Crunch. Shuffle the deck. But that's no worry. We have one in hand. Let's see what's going on here. Nothing. So they're just hoping we don't have anything. Show and tell. No reason to play that. Here comes Emrakul Choo Choo. And we beat Burn twice. 
Um, if they get back in the queue, we'll just go ahead and not record that. But they wanted a rematch. They got it. Let's go back. All right, we win the die roll. Um, seems fine. We'll see how slow we want to roll. We'll see what we draw. But turn one Scalding Tarn into Ancient Tomb into something. We'll see what the something is. Opponent molds to six. All right, we play Scalding Tarn and pass the turn. Opponent plays a Swamp. We crack the Scalding Tarn. You get greedy, get a Volk. They cycle a Baron more. That's allowed. Another show and tell. Well, makes this play a little easier on me. Oh, they just let it go immediately. Here comes Atroxa. Orcish Bowmaster. Sure. All right. So Lotus Petal, Emrakul, Force of Will, Ponder, Sneak Attack, Scalding Tarn. Done. And we win. Up against some sort of mono black. Um, don't even know. Maybe Fury? But like, what do you want to take out <laughs> is the thing. Um, uh, maybe two Brainstorms because we saw Bowmaster, but in some Furies just to take stuff out. And we, uh, we try this. All right. Uh, no hand smoothing. One counter spell, but we have the combo. So this would take forever. Let's try for something faster. This seems better. We put back one of the spirit guides. This way we have something to do if um, Hell of the Void. Um, Oh, because they're going to go for the combo. Okay. They're going to go for the grindstone or Helm of Obedience combo. So if they have Helm of Obedience in um in their hand, they got us. But we are going to swing for the fences as we do. They just put in a lance. So we need to find counter spells. Children's Edict. Yep. All right. So show and tell. Sneak attack. Emra cool. Uh, Did he have traitors? Ancient. Probably ancient tomb. Take those. And he passed. If they held them of, of obedience, they got us. Gothy Voidwalker, sure. Gives them a bit of a clock. Ancient Tomb, into. Show and tell. Yes, Atroxa again. They do have Helm Obedience, and that's the game. So, Leyland of Sanctity stops the Helm combo, but I do, I really want to go all in against that. Furies don't really do anything, so put these. And then what? Um, mm, got Palantir, put in another Leyland, and try this. All right, we get to go first, and this seems fine. They have Leyland, that's probably not great. The Mulligan to five, seems like they're really going for that Helm combo. Mulligan to four, really going for that Helm combo. Yeah, no, they mulled all the way down. Now we have to ponder and hope we find uh, something of note. Go get the Valk. Uh, okay. So Troxa, Ancient Tomb, Petal. Shuffle Library, no. Play Lotus Petal. And then next turn we can Emrakul them. Thought Seize isn't good. Thought Seize isn't good at all, because then they take Emrakul and our hand shuffles. Yep, now we have to hope we find... <laughs> we get Ancient Tomb anyway. Okay, you can attack and pass. And we even draw a Traxa somehow. I'm not complaining. Absolutely not complaining. Do they have the edict and it is one of their last two cards oh and we win the match hooray all right how many have we played it might be a wrap-up it might be one more let's find out together won the die roll uh we have a hand that does nothing at all has some forces don't get me wrong but like you need to be a little bit more aggressive than that well uh sure keep put back one atroxa hope our opponent is not playing blue arid mesa that's a good that's a good sign mountain okay is it burn again <laughs> do i am i playing burn for three matches this video you know people uh people want to play legacy and i suppose you have to give the people what they want all right lotus petal city of traders show and tell atroxa what does my opponent have bomac courier oh no opponent i'm so sorry ah uh, all right so ley lines in this take out volunteers uh take out some hand stuff take out through maybe ooh, ooh, whoa whoa brian what are you doing uh maybe this time we'll see our sideboard cards uh force of will pris ending and then we sit here and do nothing and die so Mall. Presenting and ponder, sure. Keep, get rid of one of the forces and be done. So they're gonna have a, a one drop. It seems like their deck's pretty set up for it, but we can presenting something if it's uh, particularly threatening. We have ponders as well. Great furnace. Oh no, this is something else. Presenting can only get non land permanence though, even though that's an artifact. So we get to ponder turn one. Here's me pondering my orbs. Nothing but land. Any order shuffle. Lotus petal, run that out now. We get one more ponder, folks. Let's have a spell pierce and a force of will if they try and do something we don't want them to do. Ancient Den. Okay. It's like a Koldatha thing. Mox Opal. Okay, so it's not just burn. That's good to say. Vortex. Nah, oh, man, I'm good. I want you to play Vortex. Rail Elemental Blast. Oh, Pyroblast. Yeah, okay. Well, we got rid of their counter spell, so all they have now is a Roiling Vortex, so if we can top deck something of note. Actually, we could just Prismatic Ending the Vortex. That'd be funny. I think that's what we're gonna do. We have the mana. Undra. And goodbye. Alright, you have one card in hand and no enchantment anymore. What's your plan now? Monastery Swift Spear. That is a plan. Bolt. Yeah, Lightning Bolt. Kill me five. Whip me, hit me, cut me, show me I'm real. All right, come on, deck. More ponders. Well, ponder once. Uh, actually, I guess we use the white. Up 
Ponder. Emrakul. So let's go Brainstorm, Lotus Petal, Emrakul. Shuffle, no. Then let's shuffle the deck via this. Go get another Vault. Then Ponder one more time. Any order, shuffle. Another Lotus Petal. So let's see if uh, if our opponent top decks something of note. Otherwise, if we draw Daedru and Hazaret, we can actually uh, play it. <laughs> and it would have Vigilance and Haste. Chalice on Hero? Or thing. My Lotus Petals are already in play. Deal me two. Come on. Force of Will. Nope. All right. Let's just start yielding through the turn. I can't actually cast Force of Will, though, if they do something scary. Let's see what they do here. I'm at nine, so I'm not at a million life either. But at eight, seems like they didn't draw anything of note. Ley line. That might be worth it. Up any bolts from happening. So they have a bolt. They have to play it now. Okay, cool. So none of their burn does anything anymore. Then again, they might not have a lot of burn. They could bolt themselves. That's an option. They could play some progress and just win the game. There's a lot of things they could do. Come on, deck. I need to draw something useful. Brainstorm kind of counts. Brainstorm. Oops. Wrong mana. Again. Blue, please. Brainstorm. Okay. 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 Put back the Ancient Tomb. Oh, if we Ancient Tomb, we could do it this turn. Put back these two. Play Ancient Tomb. Put ourselves to five, but they can't target us anyway. Back that. Activate that. Play this. And now they're they're just going to be empty handed or empty boarded. They're hand, they're going to have plenty in their hand. If they have a, if their last card Solitude, that hurts because we'll just be here empty handed. All right. We swing for fifteen, but more importantly, we annihilate your board opponent. All right. Just sweep that away. Put you to five. So the score is five all. I shuffle all that air back into my deck, however, which is unfortunate. And I just uh, yield. I got no cards in hand. What do you got, opponent? You actually have the plateau. Do you have a goblin guide? Are you gonna win? The traders. Yeah, for the turn. If they play a creature, they're, they'll like legitimately win. Oh my god, they're finding lands. They found a lotus petal. What's their final card in hand? Show and tell. Not what we're looking for. Any of our creatures win the game except for Simeon Spirit Guide, which we might just cast and start beating in with. Another ley line of sanctity. Well, that's not gonna do us any favors. Come on, opponent. I've been sitting here doing nothing. You should really be able to find a creature by now. Roiling Vortex. That's rough. That actually wins them the game. Puts a clock up too. Another sneak attack. Not what we're looking for. Um, We'll play it though, just in case. We are now losing though. We have to find one of our creatures or we have to find really a draw spell. Okay, that's a draw spell. I count that. Draw spell, please. And we find a Troxa. Okay, that goes back and that goes back. And sneak attack. Troxa. Draw a whole bunch. We're going to kill it with a good gal blast. Two damage marked. Two damage marked. All right, so we can't play Petal. So we tapped wrong and we're going to... Oh no, we can get flooded. So flooded strand. Oh, we win the match. Okay, cool. I believe that was the last one. Let's go to wrap up. All right. Taking down all challengers. Admittingly, we did play the same deck um, twice in the middle, but it worked to our advantage. Um, Okay. Full disclosure. When I played this earlier today, it only went three and two and I lost to a lands deck, which I shouldn't, but I did. And I also lost to, I think it was um, like a Leovold deck. So it's not like I'm here winning all the time, all the time, all the time. There's times where I lose playing sneak and show. Absolutely. There are times where the deck just bricks, but this is my comfort zone after I had such a, a hard morning trying to put this together for you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed a little bit of Sneak and Show. You got to enjoy a little bit of the silliness that is Daedru and Hazarnet and Palantir of Orithic. And yeah, thank you very much, guys, for coming along and watching. If you have something you want to email me, go ahead and do so at heydummyplaythis at gmail.com. That's heydummyplaythis at gmail.com. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Later.